Bulls are out this morning. Deal making is making a comeback on Wall Street. A record number of executives say they are planning some kind of M&A in the next 12 months. That's according to a new report um, from EY. Let's bring in Rich Generate of EY Transaction Services. Rich, good morning to you. Good morning. All right. So what do we need to know about the deal making coming back? Because that's generally associated with a bullish market. Uh, Is it? The, the deal market has been back, and the story has been the big deal. But what's exciting about our 13th annual, our 13th semi-annual co- capital conference barometer, is the exuberance around deal making is as high as it's been in the last couple of years. More than 75% saying they want to do deals. Companies with more than five billion dollars of market cap, that rate of response for deal making the next year was up over 90%. Pipelines are strong, and. I think the, the slow growth environment is, is sending a signal to the C-suite, keep growing, we're going to reward inorganic growth. Watch how stocks trade up after deals are announced. All right, so what sectors are you seeing the most deals in right now? Well, you know, there's been a lot of great news in technology, consumer products. There is business model disruption occurring all throughout corporate America. The changes in consumer preferences driving the consumer products industry, and you're seeing a blurring occurring between sectors. More than 90% of the companies who said they were going to do deals in the next year plan to do deals outside their sector. I think it's a reflection of, of that blurring occurring in a rapid way as business models transform, people acquire technology and internet and intellectual capital in places other than their own. So, Rich, uh, to what extent is this being driven by low interest rates? To what extent is this just another artificial impact that the Fed is having on markets by allowing companies to just take on a lot of debt to go out and buy another company. Yeah, John, I think the low rate environment clearly is, a, is an element, but I don't think it's the major element here. And I don't think the Fed move is going to disrupt this M&A market should they decide to move soon. I think this is driven by the desire to create top line growth, to continue business model transformation, record amounts of, of capital and liquidity available, most of its corporate cash sitting on the balance sheet that's being unused. So I don't think there's a lot of debt that's being taken on to do these deals. If you look at debt to capitalization ratios, they're their lowest they've been in almost a decade. So this is strategic. And I think companies are transacting for strategic growth, business model transformation, and to create shareholder value. Is, are these smart deals if they're doing them in sectors that they have no experience in? Well, I think people are being proactive about business model transformation. You're seeing business models disrupted overnight. And I think companies are being smart about acquiring technologies, intellectual capital, workforce in, in places that are reflective of the evolving uh, technological transformation, business model transformation that's occurring around the world. Rich, today. this is a really interesting stat. 86% see cyber attacks as a high level threat to the deal making process. Uh, that's probably the highest that it's ever been in history, I would take. It, it is. I think people are concerned about two things. One, could their actual deal process be hacked and competitive information about their deal, their deal making uh, you know, be exposed to others. And then two, just looking at the cyber risk within a deal. If you're buying a business today, you've got to look at what risk that business has with respect to its IT and cyber exposure. All right. Great stuff. All right. Rich Generate, uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks.